In this video, I'm going to show you how to swap crypto using the MetaMask mobile app. This video is not financial advice. This video is for educational purposes only. Always do your own research before ever using a crypto hot wallet, including MetaMask. I also left you some timestamps in the description down below. So if there's any steps in this tutorial that you're already familiar with, feel free to use those timestamps to skip ahead to a section that might be most relevant to you. Aside from that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. There are a few steps to swapping crypto through the MetaMask wallet. You'll need to add the network to MetaMask that you wish to swap on if you haven't already done that. You'll need to fund your wallet with the native token for the network that you're using to swap. The native token is used to cover the gas fees of swapping crypto on that network. Gas fees are the network fees you need to pay to complete swaps. You will also need to add the tokens to MetaMask that you're swapping into. Some networks have token discovery and you can add them through a simple search, but some networks do not. And you'll need to manually add the token for the network you wish to swap on. In this tutorial, I'll be covering all of these steps as well as swapping crypto. So if you're already familiar with some of these steps, feel free to use the timestamps in the description down below to skip to a chapter that's most relevant to you. And if anyone is still brand new to MetaMask and would like to learn more about it, I do have a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial on how to use MetaMask for mobile app, as well as how to use MetaMask as a browser extension. And I'll leave links in the description of this video down below for anyone that might find those videos helpful. The first step to swapping tokens on MetaMask is choose the network that you wish to do the swapping with. And to do that, you tap right up here at the top. So in my case, where it says Ethereum mainnet. Then you would tap on the network that you wish to use. If you haven't added any networks to your MetaMask wallet just yet, just simply tap on the add network button right down here at the bottom. Then MetaMask will be giving you a list of the popular networks that you can add to your wallet. And some of these networks are less in gas fees than others. And in a lot of cases, tokens are compatible across multiple different networks. So you can often save on gas fees for swapping by simply using a different network than the Ethereum network. In other cases, some tokens might only be compatible with a specific network. So you'd have to add the network for that token that you wish to do the swapping with. And to add any of these, you just tap the add button next to the network that you wish to add. So if I wanted to add the Polygon mainnet, I would tap right here on add next to Polygon. Then I'd come down here and tap on approve. Now I'll go ahead and tap here on close. I'll come up here and tap on this X right here. And I'll come up to the top of the screen, tap where it says Ethereum mainnet. I'm getting a list of the networks that I've added to my wallet. And if I scroll down, you can see that I added the Polygon mainnet to this list of networks. So from here, just tap on the network that you wish to do the swapping on. I'll go ahead and demonstrate with Arbitrum 1. So I'll tap here on Arbitrum 1. The next step is to transfer some of the network's native token into your MetaMask wallet. All the gas fees for the swaps using that network will be paid out of the network's native token that you hold on account. So for Arbitrum 1, the native token is Ethereum. So I'll have to transfer some Ethereum into my MetaMask wallet on the Arbitrum 1 network in order to cover the future gas fees of swapping with this network. If you're using the Binance Smart Chain, the native token is BNB. So you'd have to transfer BNB into your MetaMask wallet on the Binance Smart Chain network in order to cover gas fees for swapping on that network. If you're using a network like Optimism, that's also a layer two for Ethereum. So you'd have to transfer Ethereum into your MetaMask wallet for the Optimism network. So in my case here, I need to send some ETH into MetaMask on the Arbitrum 1 network. And to keep this nice and simple, I'll just send some Ethereum from Coinbase and into my MetaMask wallet. So I'll quickly bring Coinbase into frame. Now that I'm on Coinbase, I need to tap right here on the send button. If you're transferring from a different exchange, sometimes this is called a transfer button, but most of the time it's called a withdrawal button. Either way, you're looking for the crypto withdrawal form. Now I need to select Ethereum. I can see it right here up at the top. So I'll tap on that. And now I need to choose the correct network. So I want to send Ethereum from Coinbase into MetaMask for the Arbitrum 1 network. So I'm going to have to tap on the Arbitrum network right here. You don't want to send from one network and into another network or you will lose your coins forever. The only way you can transfer tokens from one network into another is by using a crypto bridge. And I do have a tutorial for that. So I'll leave a link to that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. So now I need to paste in my MetaMask deposit address for the Arbitrum network into this box right here. So I'm going to bring MetaMask back into frame. Now that I'm back on MetaMask, I can see up at the top that I'm on the Arbitrum 1 network. 
and I can see my deposit address in this box right here next to where it says address. Mine's behind a little black box. This is going to be your deposit address for the entire network. So any token that's compatible with that network will be sent to that address. So I'm gonna copy this address to my clipboard by simply tapping on these two boxes right here. Now I'm gonna bring Coinbase back into frame. Now I'm going to paste my MetaMask deposit address for the Arbitrum One network into this box right here, just like so. Now I'm gonna come down here and tap on continue. Now I can choose how much ETH I wanna send from Coinbase into MetaMask, and I just have a little bit of Ethereum here, so I'll go ahead and just tap right here on max. And I'm gonna choose self-custody wallet, and I'm gonna come down here and tap on continue. Now I can confirm my withdrawal from Coinbase and into MetaMask, everything looks good here, but make sure you have the correct network, the correct deposit address before sending. This looks good to me, so I'm gonna come down here and tap on send now. And now my Ethereum's on its way from Coinbase and into MetaMask on the Arbitrum One network. So I'll go ahead and tap right here on done. And I'll bring MetaMask back into frame. And here's a quick tip with this. If it's your first time sending tokens into your MetaMask wallet, just send a small amount first. When the smaller amount arrives as you intended, you can have the confidence to send in larger amounts. And as you can see here, my Ethereum has already arrived inside MetaMask for the Arbitrum One network. The next step is to add the token that you wish to swap into to your MetaMask wallet for the network that you wish to use. So in my case, that would be Arbitrum One. And to get this done, you'd tap right here where it says import tokens. Now you'll need to retrieve the token's contract address for the network and paste it into this box right here. And the easiest way to get this done is by going to a coin registry such as CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. And I'll leave a link to both of those sites in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. Now, sometimes you'll find the contract address on CoinGecko and sometimes you'll find it on CoinMarketCap. If you don't find it on either of those sites, it might simply mean that the token isn't compatible with the network that you're looking to do the swapping on. So in that case, you'd have to use a network that the token is compatible with. So let's go ahead and add some tokens to the Arbitrum One network. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and bring CoinGecko into frame. Now that I'm on CoinGecko, I need to search for the token that I wish to add to my MetaMask wallet for the Arbitrum One network. And you can just use the search feature right here. So I'll tap on search and let's go ahead and add USDC. Just like so, I'll type it in. I can see a result right here, so I'll go ahead and tap on that. And now I'm on the tokens page. So from here, I'll just scroll down a little ways, just like so. And then you'll find a section that says info, and right here it says contract. And this is where you're going to find all the tokens contract addresses for the networks that it's compatible with. And you can do that by tapping on these three little dots right here. And then you'll get a drop down menu with all the networks that the token is compatible with. So for me, I'd like to add this to the Arbitrum One network. So I'm gonna scroll down this menu like so, and I can see Arbitrum One right here. So I'm gonna tap on these two little boxes just like this. And now I've copied this token's contract address for the Arbitrum network to my clipboard. So I'll bring MetaMask back into frame. Now that I'm back on MetaMask, I need to paste that contract address into this box right here, just like so. Now if I scroll down a little bit, you can see under token symbol that MetaMask has detected that this is USDC. So that looks good to me. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit further here. I'm gonna tap on import and I'll have to tap on import one more time here. And as you can see, I just added USDC to my MetaMask wallet for the Arbitrum One network. Let's go ahead and add one more token. So we're gonna tap here where it says import tokens. And let's go ahead and add Chainlink. So I need to get Chainlink's token contract address and paste it into this box here for the Arbitrum One network. And this time I'll use CoinMarketCap. Now that I'm on CoinMarketCap, I can use the search feature by tapping on this icon right here. And now I'll go ahead and search for Chainlink. So I'll just start typing it in, just like so. Now I'll tap here on Crypto Assets and I can see Chainlink right there. So we'll go ahead and tap on that. And now I'm on Chainlink's page. So to find the contract address for the Arbitrum One network, we'll just scroll down like this. And we can see right here where it says contracts. Once again, here's where you'll find all the tokens contract addresses for all the networks that it's compatible with. So to see all those, we'll tap right here on more. And of course, I'm looking for the Arbitrum One network. So we'll scroll down. And I can see the Arbitrum One network right here. So to copy this contract address, we'll tap on these two little boxes right here, just like so. And I'll bring MetaMask back into frame. Now that I'm back on MetaMask, I'll paste that contract address into this box right here. 
Now I'll scroll down and I'll tap on import. I can see that link is detected here under token symbol. So I'll tap here on import again. And now I've added Chainlink to the Arbitrum 1 network inside of MetaMask. Now I'm ready to do some swapping. To swap some crypto, we'll tap right down here on these two arrows. Then we'll tap here on swap. And this brings us over to the form where we can swap one crypto into another. So you'd choose the crypto you wish to swap by tapping right here. So in my case where it says Ethereum. And then you'd choose a token from this drop down menu or you'd search for one in the search bar up above here. I'll go ahead and just leave this on Ethereum because that's all I have in my wallet. Next, we'll choose a token that we wish to swap into by tapping on this box right here. Once again, you can select a token from this drop down menu, make sure to add it to your wallet, or you can search for it in the search bar up above. I'll go ahead and select Chainlink here. Now I'm set up to swap some Ethereum into Chainlink. Now you can choose how much of the asset you wish to swap into the other. And you'll be able to see your available balance right here. So you can just type in a custom amount. I'll go ahead and just do something like this. Then once you have your swap set up, you come down here and tap on Get Quotes. And MetaMask is a swap aggregator. So it's going to scan multiple different swaps and it's going to return the best quote at the time of making your swap. But if you do want to see the other quotes, you'll see right here, it says three quotes. You can tap right here on view details to see other quotes that MetaMask was able to fetch. In my case here, MetaMask is letting me know the best deal for my swap at the time of recording can be seen right here. So that would be 0.05 Ethereum and I'd be receiving 8.4 Chainlink for this swap. Down here, you'll be able to see what the estimated gas fee is going to be. And remember, this is paid for out of the native token that you hold on account. In my case here, I'd be paying about $1.33 worth of Ethereum to make this swap. This looks perfectly fine to me. So I'm going to come down here and swipe to the right to swap. And now the swap is underway. And now the swap is complete. And you can see that I swapped most of my Ethereum into Chainlink. You can see that down below. Now, if I want to swap my chain link, I can either tap on these two little arrows down here, or I can just tap on the asset itself, and then I can tap on swap at the bottom here. Now, as you can see, I'm set up to swap chain link into another token. So let's go ahead and select another token by tapping right here. And this time I'll choose USDC. So I'll tap on USDC. And of course, you'll be able to see your available balance right here. So you can type in a custom amount of the asset that you wish to swap like so. But if you want to swap all of it, you could always tap right here where it says use max. And that's going to swap your entire balance into the other token. Once you have your swap set up the way that you want it, just come down here, tap on get quotes. MetaMask will be fetching those quotes again for you and it'll display the best deal at the time of making your swap. Of course, you'll be able to see your estimated gas fees right here. So to make this swap, I'll be paying about $1.32 worth of Ethereum to swap my link into USDC. That looks fine to me, so I'm going to come down here, swipe to the right, and now my swap is in progress. So I'm going to come up here, tap on this little X to close links page like this. And now the swap is complete. You can see that I just swapped my chain link into USDC coin. And there you have it. That's how you can swap one crypto into another using the MetaMask mobile app. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also, feel free to check out my other MetaMask tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.